Up next, we have absolutely fabulous, amazing artist, Natalie! Here we go, okay. <laughs> so, um, this is my book. I'm gonna do a reading, and it's coming out next June um, from Fantagraphics. But you can, <laughs> you can also read it in its entirety on Patreon. So the book takes place, for those of you who don't know, it's written as a letter to my friend Minnie, who I met in France, and she's Austrian. And at the time of this reading, she was 16 and I was 17. And I went to visit her in Austria. And we got up to all sorts of nocturnal shenanigans. <laughs> And if you're at the last reading, you might remember the scene. Um, we went out with one of her older friends, and it was my first time. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the next morning, he takes me to the subway station, and we're in Vienna, and I didn't know how to get to the train, but he, we say goodbye. I unfortunately have no money and I don't speak German. So <laughs> this is to set the scene for the scene that I'm gonna read. All right, here we go. Can they smell it? The fear of a girl alone with no money, no phone, and no way to get home. Um, excuse me, what? I'm trying to find the train to, mm, bleh, what? What is it about desperation? Uh, it Excuse me, please? That seems to repel. I'm so screwed. How will I ever get back to Minnie? Help. Natalie? <gasps> Felix! How did he know? How did he find me? My savior. <laughs> I called Minnie and she freaked out that I'd left you. Why didn't you tell me you didn't know how to get to the train? How do I explain that sometimes I just can't speak, that I don't know how to tell someone they're wrong, that I need more help than they're offering, that to admit I'm vulnerable triggers a shame so deep I'd rather risk everything than ask for what I need, for fear that I'll be told to my face that I don't deserve help or safety or 15 more minutes of his time. I don't know, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sure this is the right one. I couldn't believe how lucky I'd been. Ciao, Natalie. Bye. Oh, God, what if I can't find Minnie? You made it. I kept waiting for something else to go wrong. Oh, I was so worried. I was so mad when he said he left you the subway. I know, he told me. <laughs> <laughs> but it seemed I still had a few more hours before all my luck ran out. And now we must go home and rest because tonight is the big birthday party. Wake up, we have to get ready. Oh uh, no, already? All the boys have been texting me about you. Marco from the club on Tuesday, and Simon, who we met your first night. Oh, and Klaus will be there, but I don't think I like him anymore. I'd rather get with his friend who's coming. Of all the nights, this one seemed the most promising. Marco says he has to see you, but he's in the city. Oh, and I hooked up with Stefan a few weeks ago, and Philip will be there. Ah, he, what a night it's gonna be. It's too much. I wish it wasn't so cold. Can I borrow these jeans? Sure, take this jacket and let's go. And yet, through the giddiness and nocturnal haze, I felt uneasy. Don't forget the five euro cover for drinks. Shit, that only leaves 10 euro for the rest of the trip. We drove through the darkness for so long that I lost track of time. It was the only night your mom gave us a ride. Did you ever tell her? 
There was something foreboding about the pitch black countryside, as if I already sensed I was being transported to a place I would never fully come back from. What about Natalie? Americana? Vodka Red Bull, danke. <laughs> from the moment we arrived, it was like I was some kind of celebrity. Hey, hi, I've never met an American before. Are they all as beautiful as you? Uh, come on, let's go dance. He, this party sucks. We're the only ones dancing. I know, Ugh, I hate most of these kids anyways. When are your friends getting here? Better be soon. I teetered between feeling alarmed. Let's get another drink. Hey, I'm sorry, your ass is just so perfect. It looks like an apple. An apple? Ew. <laughs> I'm flattered. The ways they competed for my attention were strange, but seemed ultimately benign. Natalie, come with us. He? Why? We're gonna go pee where it's dark. Huh, this is weird. Oh, psst. Hey, don't go. Zip. I should get back to Minnie. He? The end. <laughs>